you know, it's, it's interesting. I, uh, when I first got into the real estate space, it was on non-performing side. So uh, I feel the pain. It's a, yeah, you're right. It's a very active space that you have to be in. I mean, you are, you know, you're a therapist, you're a, <laughs> you know, your accounts, you know, accounts receivable. You're, you're trying to get those payments. You're and you're the legal department. You're, you know, it, it's all kinds of things that you're doing when you're, when you're trying to tackle those, but you're right. I mean, so, you can you can share your discount with people um and you know help modify them into performing or help them pay it off what I, you know what i found and i wondered if you if you've found this as well most of those people who were not performing had the ability to pay this they chose not to because the banks that they were working with chose not to work with them so they got really pissed off and just stopped paying um i was shocked how many times i would talk to people and they're like yeah um yeah, we we can uh, we can do a you know a sh like a, more or less a short sell or or a discounted payoff or we have the money to do that or or we can resume payments at a slightly discounted rate. Uh, is that what you find as well with most of these or or what are you what are you finding? Yeah, most people, even attorneys that I would run across, not the foreclosure attorneys, but they were educated in this foreclosure space. But most regular attorneys, or real estate attorneys, or regular business attorneys, they they didn't even understand the concept of it. They thought if you was to initiate foreclosure from second position, you have to pay off the first mortgage, right? That's just, most people think that. So the homeowners had that same mindset um, that I've learned in the bar management process that they didn't think we would pay off the first, they thought we had to pay off the first if we foreclose and you don't, you can foreclose subject to the first mortgage if you have to go down that route. Our business model was if we foreclose, we failed. We wanted to work something out with the bar. We wanted to share our discount with them. Now, if they stuck their head in the sand and didn't pay us, we have investors to answer to. So obviously we have to go down that path. Um, but that's just one part of the business. You don't have to do bar management when you buy seconds. I know a lot of successful funds that just turn paper. They buy it at X and sell it for Y. Um, you know, and basically that's their model. They don't do any collections at all. Uh, that's the, the collection part is really expensive. Uh, bar management and legal. I always make a joke and say the attorneys make more money in this space than I do. Um, because of legal and everything else. But um, yeah, you can have that model where you just turn paper. There's a lot of successful funds that uh, just buy it in bulk and they carve out uh, stuff that they want and they sell off the rest. Uh, we always make a joke that second mortgages are the orphans. So if they buy in a pool of first, maybe they, some HELOCs may come with that or maybe some at the time, those are HELOCs or home equity line of credits, they will scrape all that stuff out or the low balance loans, anything less than $50,000. Maybe it's in places like Alabama, Ohio, or certain states, certain parts of PA where there's low balance loans. The big boys don't want to deal with that stuff. They'll just carve that out and sell it. Um, and so you get some of that stuff with second mortgages also. And that's what actually introduced me into first when I started mm -hmm. to level up and rate, have a fund and raise capital to be able to take down mo more loans. Um, I started to see that I was getting first mortgages, low balance first mortgages, which is a whole different space. But I like seconds again for the reason that it gives me an option on a property and um you know it's unprotected by the first of the, the insurance that the first mortgage had when they make that first mortgage payment insurance taxes and everything is included so i don't have to pay any of that if i buy a first mortgage now i have to put force place insurance on it um and i have to do other things due diligence is more expensive so it's just two different two different concepts both are great investments but seconds is definitely a business well, if you have a if you're operating a fund that has a lot of capital, uh, it makes more sense to, you know, buy the buy by the case, sell by the bottle, so to speak, um, and, and then just make the the spread on what you're going to sell these these notes for. Um, I mean that that's a very efficient model if you have enough capital to do so. And and frankly, the places that are selling these notes would rather sell off a big chunk of it than have to you know, sell individual uh, notes out to folks anyway. Correct. Uh, 